guys, I wanted to do a video for you today on um, how I'm storing my jujube bags. Um, I see this question brought up a lot um, on the Facebook groups and other places on how people are um, storing their stashes, so to speak. Um, so I was just going to go over how I um, have my jujube organized, um, give you a couple of helpful hints and tips. Um, obviously, there's no wrong way to uh, store and organize your bags, but I um, wanted to do this as kind of a helpful video um, for those of you that are just completely completely lost with what to do. Um, so this is how I have my stuff organized um, in my closet. I've actually um, repurposed um, this closet organizer. It was my daughter's um, when she was a baby and like younger toddler um, to organize her clothes and I was going to throw it out and then it kind of occurred to me that maybe this would be um, good for uh, storing my bags. Um, and I actually not only store my bags in here, I store my extras that I keep in my bags, which is really nice. Um, so up top, I, um, I do keep a couple diapers up here just because if I'm going somewhere really quick, I want to be able to grab my <laughs> quick and just throw a couple diapers in there. I don't have to go somewhere else um, to do that. Um, and then I just have um, all kinds of stuff in here um, that I would keep um, in my bags, like hand lotions, um, extra pill containers, gum, just stuff I might want to throw in really quick um, and not get out of uh, a bag I already have packed. Um, I also have, this is the potet, I think it's <laughs> pronounced. I haven't used this yet. Um, it's a, basically a portable potty for potty training. Um, just have this on hand. We're not to that point yet with our potty training, so it hasn't been used. Um, I have a little thing with like my um, disposable trash bags, and then in here is like all my wipes and hand sanitizer and stuff, so I can just grab those and store it um, in my bags. Now on uh, the one side here, I just have my mini bees hanging, my uh, 2.0 and 1.0. I like hanging those up because they're a little harder to fold, um, especially the uh, 1.0. It has a lot more structure. Um, and I also have um, one of my pack bees um, hanging. Um, and I don't have any other backpack styles right now other than those three. Um, and this little like shelf organizer here, I have um, just my smaller um, things, my large sets, my quicks, um, a couple other random things that I use um, to pack. This is like a large travel on packing cube and um, I put a couple other uh, pouches that I use um, inside that. Um, fuel cell quicklet, a change pad for my better view that I don't use. Um, another tip for um, packing and storing like any kind of um, bags, especially jujube, is um, bag inception. So essentially a bag within a bag. Um, and that's really easy to do with sets. That's actually how they come um, packaged to you. So I have my large set and pinky square and inside it my medium and my small. Um, and you could put other bags in there too. It doesn't have to be um, parts of the set. Um, so if you have a bigger bag, like I have um, a Starlet down here, those are great for storing other bags in um, if you don't necessarily have this uh, whole space to devote um, just to organizing. Um, you could also use Superstar, Super Bees, um, even um, I actually do that same method with my um, suitcase. I actually have a couple suitcases in there and a lot of my travel stuff, it really saves space. I have like three different types of suitcases and stuff in there. Um, so it is really helpful um, for space saving. Um, I actually happen to, for once, have a lot of space in my closet, so I was able to use this method. Um, here I just have my easily foldable bags, um, my non-structured ones, so uh, like I said, my Starland, Super B, a Mighty B, and a B Light. Um, then I have my Hobo Bs in between, um, which are basically the same size, kind of lined up. And um, to help store them, um, these fold up really nice. And then um, I just have taken the um, straps, which these, uh, I have custom seat belt ones on my um, Hobo Bees right now, and I put them in the change pad pocket and then closed it with a snap to keep it in there. And I find that helps, because otherwise the strap, the strap is just flopping around and it's kind of annoying and um, in the way. And then on the bottom shelf, I just have um, two other pack bees. Um, these are the ones I actually use for my kids um, for overnight bags. I have one in Navy Berry and one in Julia's Ribbons. And then on the side, I don't know how well I can um, show you this, there's all these little pockets, um, which is also why I like this, and um, uh, uh, all of these on this side is basically my extra straps, so um, like the one to my hobo bees, um, my set piece straps, I actually have the um, extra 
straps for my uh, Mini D 1.0, and then just um, another little thin wallet that matches my early sunrise um, Hobie. And then on the other one, I have some random stuff. So I have like a coin purse and a little custom piece, um, a little another uh, organizer bag, a wet bag, <laughs> a kid leash um, for when my son starts walking, um, and then just a couple extra activities for my daughter. Um, but you could put anything in those. I just think this is really nice, simple, um, fairly inexpensive way to organize um, your bags. Uh, this, I think, is about 20 $25 on Amazon. Um, you can obviously use another brand. Like I said, this was the Munchkin. I'll put a link um, in the description area under the video. Um, you know, you can use a cheaper one. I really like this one because it's pretty sturdy. Um, it's held up through uh, over three years of uh, pretty heavy use um, for my daughter. And it just Velcros um, up here at the top. It's pretty stable. Um, it does swing a little, but it's not too bad. Um, so that's it. Um, not a whole lot of craziness to it, but basically, um, if you have this space, closet organizer, um, like this one by Munchkin are awesome for bag storage. Um, if you don't have the space or just have a lot of bags and you don't want multiple organizers, you can do the bag inception, put bags inside of bags. Um, if you have a lot of the unstructured ones, they fold up and you can even, um, fold these bags up more. Um, like the lights will fit um, in a medium. Is that piece? Let's see if I can show that real quick. And the um, Super Bs will fit in a large or a quick, depending how you pack it. Um, but there's a light in a medium set piece um, and it will zip. So that's another sort of bag inception um, trick you can use. Um, so just play around with it, be creative. Um, I hope this gives you kind of a good stepping stone um, to start with and keep yourself a little better organized. Because um, once you start getting multiple bags, it can be really hard to um, switch them in and out if you want to be changing them out every day like I kind of like to do. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and thank you so much for watching.